What is going on everyone? This is going to be a top 10 most wanted things to be added in GTA 5 online. Now these are going to be things that are not in the game, things that we've been waiting for, and things that just need to be fixed. And now bear in mind, this is going to be my top 10, so obviously it's going to be different from your top 10. And what I want you to do is add in the comment section down below whether you agree with my top 10, whether you need to change numbers around, or simply you just want to add something to the list that I haven't put down and that you think should be there. So let's get straight into it. Number 10. Coming in at the number 10 spot we have fixed glitches now I'm not talking about like glitches where you can like find little spots going in buildings or falling under the map like I don't mind glitches like that because they, they kind of can be fun and they're only really bad if you get like douchebag players you know like attacking you through a building and you can't attack them back that's fair enough but I don't really mind them the glitches where that like annoy me that I want to get rid of are the glitches where I'm in a car and or I'm not in a car and I desperately need a car and then all of a sudden you you do kind of like a 360 around where you are and all the cars in like a 10 mile radius have just vanished and you gotta run for ages uh, it's always you just so happen to not be able to get a mechanic to bring you your own car and it just always happens at the worst time I'm sure it's all happened to you guys uh, it's happened to me several times uh, also which I'm gonna be showing you on the screen right now is when you find an awesome car that you want and you go to open it and as you open it the car disappears and you just rage and you go number nine coming in at the number nine spot we have updating the radio stations the game and the multiplayer version of the game have been out for almost a year now and personally I just think that it's time to update the radio stations we need more songs we don't need the same loop of the p same people talking about the same thing over and over it's just a constant loop the problem they've made with that is each station caters to different people and not everyone has the same style of music obviously everyone's gonna have their favorite one or two stations that they're gonna listen to and they're not gonna listen to anything else because frankly it doesn't interest them so I think it's about time that you give us more hey Brittany Number 8. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have fixing the cops. Now, we all know that the cops are super damn stupid in this game. You either have them attacking you for no reason, even if you don't have stars. You stand next to them, and apparently that's a crime that deserves getting shot in the face, point blank. You got them hitting you or getting in your way while you're driving. Like, literally, even if you're driving normally and you hit them and you get a star. I know you've all had that happen to you. Or you just have them plain old stupid where you're standing right next to them and you have stars and they drive in the opposite direction. Like, what the hell? Just, what? Just fix them, guys. Number seven. Coming in at number seven, we have more ways to make money. Now, this is a big problem in GTA Online, as most of you would know, and it is money is horrible to get. People do not want to buy the Game Shark cards just because, frankly, it's quite expensive and money is so easy to spend and so easy to lose, especially with how much you lose just from getting killed by other players, which is mostly out of your control. Missions all sorts of missions they need the jobs they need more payout because frankly it's just too low people if you look on the like websites and create created jobs you got hundreds now jobs claiming that you know you'll get the biggest payout and such and such and there's always people having to find new ways of doing it. I just think it's stupid that we have to do that I've just typed in money glitches I haven't even put GTA and I've come up with 85,300 results and I've just filtered it for this week and if you can see I didn't even put GTA and it's just all the first page is all just money glitches as you can see by the numbers they all claim whatever it doesn't even matter people can say that having money glitches stops stuff like heist but I think if Rockstar put more money in other things to get money that it would stop a lot of these glitches at least stop people wanting to find these glitches and using them and just actually do other stuff I think just because it's been confined to these few different ways of making money like the jobs the crates you know gang attacks and stuff like that and I think they need to add higher payouts for those and add different ways of getting money as well number six 
coming in at the number six spot we have character customizations now I cannot be the only one that when I made my GTA 5 online character was like what the effing hell am I looking at I have to choose my looks based on what my grandparents look like what my parents look like it just it was just so overly complicated and you could not get a face that looked good unless you were just super goddamn lucky and even then they just look horrible like I don't know why they didn't just have a just a 1 to 10 and 1 to 20 of the different faces and you got to choose whatever face you want because it was just way too hard to find a character just doing all different combinations of your grandparents and your parents and it's like they have nothing to do with anything in the game so what was the point of choosing your grandparents and anything I just think it's completely stupid and I think you should just be able to choose whatever face you wanted without the hassle of trying to do a right combination with your parents and grandparents and what I think GTA 5 should have done was take a page from San Andreas book and bring back the gym everyone loved using a gym and it gave that extra choice whether you wanted to make your character buff just have him normal and skinny and average or have him fat whatever it just gives it that extra like unique feel to your character online instead of, instead of having that generic boy and girl character running around everywhere because frankly the current customizations are pretty poor and pretty crap and need to be updated number five now coming in at the number five spot I reckon we should have more events in GTA 5 online I'm not talking about crates and crap like that they're just boring it like does anyone actually really do it like really really and they're not they're not fun like we have the Independence Day DLCs but they're DLCs why can't we just have like random events that just happen like once every few weeks maybe once a week once a month I don't know maybe we could have some sort of zombie apocalypse now I don't know how to show you zombies maybe it can be just like uh, what's that zombie zombies zombies everywhere they're all over my screen where are they all coming from oh my god zombies no no or maybe we don't have to do zombies number four coming in at the number four spot we have heist now, I for one am sick of waiting for this. They've been advertising it being released for months and months and they've been bringing out little DLCs, people blaming glitches that they've got to fix and they're not doing heist because of, because of that. Who cares? You guys advertise heist in the original GTA 5 online trailer. Now, come on. I think you guys can do better than that. It's been almost a year since it's been released. Just bring it out already. Number three. Coming in at the number three spot, I have bring in more cars. And I'm not just talking about like two or three cars every DLC. I just bring in more cars. There's so many cars that you guys can do that just so cool ones. Just off the top of my head, a Nissan Skyline. Come on. Put it in the game. I'm sure I'm not the only one I'd love a Nissan Skyline. But there is just so many other cars that would be awesome to have. It's just the same generic cars now and you've added them all to the website that there's just no uniqueness to the cars anymore. I just want more cars. Come on. I do best modified cars. Give me more. Come on. Come on. Number two. Coming in at the number two spot, we have more car customizations. Now, obviously, if you're on my channel, you know that I do the best modified car series, and I, for one, know that a lot of cars have little to no customizations. I think a lot of cars should have added customizations uh, to them, and some of the cars that don't even have customizations should be able to be customized. I think every car should be able to be customized and just every car should have stuff done to it. Obviously they can be done in real life, so why can't they be done in the game? I also think you need to take a page from like Need for Speed where you could put decals on your cars, flames, stripes, just whatever the hell you want to put on. I just think it adds to that uniqueness and so cars are unique because there's only so much you can customize from your car to the same car from another person, otherwise they just look exactly the same. I also think you need to go back to San Andreas again because they had NOS, so why don't we? In GTA 5 world, we're in the future. Come on, we need NOS. Number one. Now coming in at the number one spot, I have more islands. Come on. That would be awesome to extend it. I remember in some of the previous games, you could go from like Liberty City to Vice City or something like that. So why can't you have like Liberty City over here? And maybe just have Vice City on the other side. Like, look at these planes. I've been sitting here for like a year, so why can't they get any damn use? 
I just think it would be so awesome. And on top of that, I think if you did that, you should increase the amount of people in each lobby. And just have a massive, like, world when you can go to different places. Like, look at this. Look at this poor air airplane guy. What's he doing? Huh? Has he just been sitting here for a year doing nothing? I haven't seen this plane move at all. Look at him. He's attacking me. Why is he attacking me? Who do you think he is? Look at his, what is he, a baggage handler? Whose baggage is he, whose baggage is he handling? What is he, attacking me for baggage? I don't have any baggage. What's wrong with him? See, this is, this is what happens when you have a plane that hasn't moved for a year. You got, you got crazy workers working at this damn airport. Look at him, he's still attacking me. Come on. Where are you getting your baggage from? How do you have a job? What are you doing? Why are you attacking me? Shit. Huh? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Stop attacking me! Get a real job! You're not doing anything! Yeah. Huh? How do you like that? Here, yeah, look, look what you make me done! LOOK WHAT YOU MAKE ME DONE! So that was my top 10 most wanted things in GTA 5 online, guys. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Also, leave a comment down below if you agree with my countdown, if you have any changes, or have you, if you want to add anything in to the countdown that you think I missed. Also, check the description down below for all my details and all my stuff that you guys need to know. And remember, if you haven't subscribed already, guys, do that. I really appreciate it. And stick around for more videos. See you, guys.